they're trying to kill us. They throw nuts and bolts at us, they hit us with uh, LRADs and water cannons, and uh, they shoot at us, throw concussion grenades at us. So they're trying to kill us. Our, our, the problem for us is we have to do what we do, making sure we don't injure any of them. The uh, destruction of the Adi Gill and the fact that New Zealand and Australia and nobody else did anything about it has given a green light to them. They, I, I expect LSK, they think they can get away with anything now. I don't know of a single case in maritime history where a ship has rammed and sunk another vessel, even accidentally, where that captain of that vessel was not even questioned. And this captain hasn't been questioned. New Zealand and Australia won't complete their investigation because Japan simply refuses to cooperate with the investigation. That's unprecedented. You know, if, this was, if we were two fishing boats or if we were two commercial vessels, there'd be major investigations going on here. But the fact that, see, the law is very biased. It's always in favor of those making the profits and not in favor of anybody perceived to be as protesting those profits, even if it's an illegal operation. So uh, what I found really funny about the Australian investigation, this has got to be the most documented collision in, in history. They had five different cameras on it. The Australians in their investigation report said uh, the quality of the film was too poor for us to determine who was at fault. I'm going, these are high definition cameras for a television show, but the quality of the film, according to the Australians, were too poor.